All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. All right, my trick daddy said he turned down... An opportunity to battle Lil Boosie on the versus battle. Let's talk about it real quick. He was on Drink Champs and he he talked about uh, eating the groceries, and that kind of overshadowed the the other things he talked about. I ain't finished yet, but he talked about uh, you know, the Trump situation at the Capitol building. He dropped some gems in there, but let's talk about it. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the love and support. All right, you know, um, you know, at the end of the day, I like I said before, I think Trick Daddy would have blew Boosie out. Boosie Discovery, like I said, Webby would have whooped him. I think Lil Boosie and Silk the Shocker, you know, I think Silk the Shocker might have a little bit too much for him. People forget Silk the Shocker. He sold some records, you know. People talking about him rapping off beat but, and him being trash, but he sold a lot of records. And all the rappers today, damn, they're trash. But um, what I'm about to say, um, Detroit, man, that's, man we, we probably invented rapping off beat. You know, we have so many rappers that people never heard about. That wrapped off beat. Like, shit, it, it was normal to us. You know, we might, we, we had so many rappers jitting and rapping off beat, this shit. So it don't bother me. I don't mind kind of hearing music different. I played a few instruments. I'm the, I'm a, I played a few but never mastered any. I played a little bit guitar, a lot of other shit. But, you know, like I said before, it was, to me, I, I, I heard, I, I'm always open minded. I'm never shutting the door on somebody argument unless it's just that. It's just that out of out of out of, out of whack, but um, yeah, I heard music different, so I appreciate the E40s, the the blue faces, and the Silk the Shockers to a certain extent. But I think Bill Boosie and Silk the Shocker, Silk might have it might be too much of a generational gap there, you know. But the obvious one is him and Webby. Well, Webby had his first three or four albums just really really good. You look at Boosie. Well, I mean, he people said, well, Boosie got the hood. That's why Boosie and Plies. I said Plies, Plies would kill Boosie. It ain't like I don't like Boosie, but Boosie don't have. He got a lot of great features, and he did a lot of stuff, but he don't have, to my knowledge, he more of an underground nigga. He didn't really want to be on top of shit, but, you know, but him and him and Trick Daddy, that's, that's a generational gap. The reason him and Silk will work is because him and Silk, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, no limits down there. But, no, honestly, I, I love to see Boosie on there. He might surprise me. He got some shit. He was on Independent. He was on, yeah, that you better believe it. What'd he say? He said, you know, Michael Vick, if Michael Vick killed Diz, then it's real. He has some shit, though. But I like Boosie Hughes fan. Swirl right, swirl left. Krispy Kreme's on the tide. That's perk and perk. That's how I go. Nah. Yeah, he got some shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm just a little Boosie for most people was up here listening to him. But him and Trick, that's a generational gap. And Trick said he 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 liked a little Boosie. But he, you know, he didn't want to battle him because he didn't want to destroy him. He said Billboard and everybody else would have ranked the winner and stuff of that nature. So that's why he didn't want to do it, but... If Trey Davis go against somebody, man, that's a tough one because people talk about No Limit, UGK, Rap A Lot, A Boy MJG, 36 Mafia, but Trick Daddy, man, Trick Daddy was holding the South down. You know, he is Florida rap, so it's tough. Maybe him and Master P. That's like really the one matchup I can't I can't really think of. Him and P. That's the only one I really could think of. Him and P, him and Trina. Him and P probably be the one. Now, I don't think Pastor Troy, maybe Pastor Troy, but I think Boosie and Pastor Troy, that'd be a good one. Boosie and Pastor Troy, that'd be a good one. Silk and Boosie, Silk and Silk the Shock and Trick Daddy, um, Silk Slim Thug in there, Paul uh, Chameleon there in there. So I think Silk Trick, Juvie Trick, those are all good ones. I would say Ross, but he already went, and him, his B side ain't gonna be fucking with Trick Daddy. And Trick Daddy got more love to him down there too. So uh Yeah, Trick Trick, yeah, I like that. Trick and uh Luda already went though, but and Trick and uh TI would be a good one. You know, they didn't pay me to be matchmaker on on versus, but yeah, those are the ones I'm thinking of, man. But uh let me know what you guys think about it. But I think Trick and Silk, Trick and Juvie, who else I say? Trick and TI, Silk and Boosie, those are one Boosie and, and, and Webby, those are the ones. You know, I want to see oh, Webby and, 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 uh, and Trick would be nice. But I, I want to see something that's kind of the same. Trick and Buster Rhymes. 
that's another good one. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Check out the uh, music entertainment playlist. Want to make a financial donation? Cash up CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Rest with a donate, share the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the love support. Other than that, make you know, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about Trick Daddy verse Lil Boosie or Sid the Shock or something, or he'll be a good matchup for him. But he said he turned down Boosie because he liked Boosie and they cool. He ain't want to destroy him. Peace. Hey, you, yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. You got the rookie level. You got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video. They want to see the video, but only members will be able to chat. That's $3. That's a rookie. Dog star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there. $10 a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All-Stars World too. And priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. You no know, instantly at twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do. What you think? Don't have a Patreon no more. So here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.